Hi, it's me again with Corel Drill Tips and Tricks. A little, little bit of insight on using an envelope tool to show a customer what it's going to look like on a mug. Because if you take this text and just put it on a mug, let's make it white. That's the way it's going to look on Corel Draw. Now, when you run this cup in your rotary, it's going to look more like this envelope tool because it's going to uh, conform to that shape and the curve and it'll look uh, pretty good. So how do you do that? It's pretty easy. And what we first need to do is just make a rectangle and go pretty close to the corner, to the corner. Don't worry about it's that it's perfect. It's just for show. Take that rectangle and go to object and convert it to a curve. Take the shape tool and select the top two nodes and turn it into a curve. I don't know why I did that. Well, it, ha, it was turning my uh, box, my cup into a curve. Let's make sure we did that right. Right click, turn it into, okay, it is a curve. Now I'm going to click on that line and just kind of bring it down. And then you can, I like zooming in, grabbing that, and then you can move your handle. If you move your handle closer, it'll get in that pocket right there, closer to the other node. And that's pretty good. Now you could actually use that same uh, arc. But if it, since it doesn't have to be that surprise, uh, perfect, just go ahead and do the exact same thing I did. Turn it into a curve. That's what's happening. I'm grabbing it with the shape shape tool and not the other part. So then just grab your handles, and I hope you understand. If you if you get closer left to right, it it brings it closer to that, and if you bring it down, it brings it down more to the bottom. So we're going to call that good. Now, we don't want the wordage right on top of that or right to the edge. Let's make our nudge factor like six inches. And let's grab our rectangle and move it out of the way. Then I'm going to go to object, or excuse me, effects and contour. I'm going to contour the inside at a half an inch. And I get my writing space. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I could go to a range and break the contour part and then move that over to our cup. Or I could have just, instead of breaking it apart, I could turn it in the Smart Fill tool and then just left-click, right-click. Now, I'm going to make that line yellow so you can hopefully see it better. And then just take your text and... Click on your, let's get rid of this docker. Click on your text, go to effects and envelope. Go right down here to this create envelope form from and click on your deal and it, see how it curved it automatically. Now to get that in that cup, shift select the other, you've got this selected, shift select the other would put some two together and then go EC. Now I'm going to make it white just so you, I'll get rid of my box and then I'll make the text white just so you can tell, whoop, tell more what it's going to look like on the coffee mug. Probably not the best font for the envelope tool. You know what? Let's just do that. I don't, I would, I should have really used a different font. Um, I still have a glitch on my computer with Arial. Uh, Arial, if you have two, well, I'll just show you, and a lot of people have this same glitch. I need to contact Corel about it. Well, let's just type in Arial. And uh, well, I can't type this morning. And uh, a lot of people have trouble with Arial doing this. Well, the aerial narrow narrow doesn't do it evidently, but watch aerial uh, normal, and it it puts a square box where the uh, two Fs should be. So let's go with aerial narrow narrow. I like that. Now let's use that um, 
Same thing, put envelope form, put it in there. See how it did make it look better. Then shift select the yellow box and EC, turn it, you know what, we're going to have to get rid of because it, it doesn't know which one to turn white. And that way, this font, you can kind of tell uh, the shape of the uh, contour of the cup. You know, it really makes it look that, makes the time look kind of funny. Uh, it's not, it's just the way the font is. Let's do that one more time. If you don't, if you're tired of watching, just uh, change, uh, change the channel. Um, I think cute love is what I had before. There we go. Let's try David and see what happens. I've never even noticed that font. That looks pretty good. And then shift select the box, EC or CE, it doesn't matter which one you do. Grab the yellow box, grab the coffee, and hit the white. That's actually, this is a JDS cup, and that's what actually what it's going to look, because it will engrave white on there. But you don't really have to do this for the graphic. I mean, the, the turning and the rotation of the cup, it's just because the cup is tilted and you just really want to show the customer. You could just write the text out exactly the way it is. And when you put it in your rotary, it's going to automatically do that. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.